Monsters are often creatures that many of us have thought about in our childhood. Creatures like vampires, zombies, giants, and so on. From a young age, those are the ones we fear because of their appearance or power. But as you get older, you realize they're the other type of monster. The one the title of this series refers to. The type of monster that does exist and is more terrifying the older you get and the more you understand this world. The monster in this story is one that can meticulously plan immoral actions such as human deaths with indifference, as if it was just part of their routine. Now Kurosawa's story is of such a monster, that monster being the main antagonist to the main character, Dr. Tenma. A highly skilled neurosurgeon, Dr. Tenma is living in Germany shortly after his reunification and the core concept of his character early on is how he believes that all life is of equal value regardless of status, wealth and fame. This story is one best experienced without expectations, so that is as much of the plot as I've described. Put simply, it is the story of a man faced with a moral decision, in which his decision reciprocates and affects his life like falling dominoes, leading him to one hell of a journey. So, what's so great about Monster? My favorite aspect is the themes it explores and the moral dynamics it places its characters in. Themes regarding the value of each person's life, whether it can be quantified and compared, and the show explores the concepts of what is good and evil, who is able to judge people upon those concepts, and who enforces judgment on the judge themselves. Monster even explores dark taboo themes like abuse, trauma, and sexualization. Being 74 episodes, it utilizes its length to tell the story in the form of a journey of a man soul searching, seeking answers. Because of its length, many of its characters are dense nuanced and very human with their own personal arcs with proper resolutions, contrary to other shows that simply plays a short backstory for a character when they are needed or relevant. The show focuses a lot on the encounters between the Doctor and other characters to drive the plot. The atmosphere in the show is also fantastic. It truly embraces how a psychological thriller should be in every way. It's suspenseful, tense, and although it is not really a horror, it often feels like it, with the topics and visuals being presented in the show. The atmosphere is amplified by the show's eerie soundtrack, adding to the anticipation and build up between big reveals and tense moments. The show explores conflict and oppression in a terrific way. Being set in Germany right after the Cold War, the show constantly illustrates how there is still hostility and discrimination between varying groups. It explores how the environment shapes the people around it, and how those people eventually shape Dr. Temma when he interacts and spends time with them. With Temma's journey, soul searching, and seeking answers, it allows many of the characters, even ones that may not have a large role, to reshape how Temma thinks about morality and the concepts of good and evil. The show provides many different takes regarding these topics, which allows the viewers to really absorb what the story is trying to say and form conclusions on the topics themselves. The setting is very bleak, washed and reminiscent of a struggling Europe during the late 20th century, which allows the story to absorb you and place you into this interesting, depressing and often cruel world. The one aspect that may turn you away from Monster is that it is an older show, and while the story and the way the characters are written do not feel outdated, the visuals look reminiscent of the early 2000s and the focus on mature looking characters and basic animation, and that relies on the dialogue to drive the show. However, don't get that wrong. The show does not look bad in the slightest of ways, and many people even find this older art style to provide a certain charm. So, while Monster is about the journey rather than destination, the conclusion itself is somber, shocking, and extremely unsettling, but ultimately satisfying as many of the questions, mysteries, and themes being explored are given ample answers by different characters which match to their development throughout the story. Monster ultimately lives up to its title by questioning human traits such as empathy, care, and kindness, and merging them with their counterparts to, produ to produce characters whose moral compasses are twisted and inhumane. But because of their environment and the development you as the watcher see them go through, you somehow understand. And that's why I think you should watch Monster.